I'm here with Mr. Hans Zimmerman, International Coordinator for Emergency Communications from the International Amateur Radio Union. Mr. Zimmerman, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much for having me here. The International Amateur Radio Union is already a member of the ITUR. Perhaps you'd like to tell us a little bit about your reasons for becoming a member of the ITU development sector, ITUD. We are for a long time in both sectors. One of the reasons for ITUD is of course emergency communications because if nothing else works, the amateur radio service has the best chance to somehow get the message through. Furthermore, amateur radio is a wonderful tool for young people to get into technology. We are just now working very closely, for example, with the scout movement because it's a do-it-yourself activity which can very much link to modern technology as well as to things which you can actually do yourself with your hands like the scouts like to. How do the activities of the International Amateur Radio Union relate to the work of the ITU? The International Amateur Radio Union consists of member societies, one member society actually, in each country and therefore represents the interests of all amateur radio operators independently of their specific activities of which as you might know there is a wide variety from uh, sports competition to high-tech development to emergency communications to all kind of activities but these need to be represented as those of a radio service this refers in particular to issues of spectrum, but it also refers to our participation in development projects. And how important a role does the amateur radio service play in terms of emergency communications? Well, in emergencies there is one rule, and that is use what is available, or use what remains available. The amateur radio service has the advantage of being mostly independent of infrastructures. If you give somebody a battery and a radio and a piece of wire, he can communicate with somebody else who has the same. That's the old simplified rule. It doesn't mean that we are an old-fashioned service. Okay, we still use Morse code. Radio amateurs are nowadays almost the only people who are still, for a large number, trained in this most simple technology which gets through when nothing else works anymore. On the other hand, we also use digital modes. We have all kind of possibilities, all the way to amateur uh, television, video links. Everything, of course, and that's important to say, point-to-point -point connections. That means if there is an emergency somewhere, with the flexibility of this service, there is a good chance that if I'm in trouble and I have an e a radio, I can hear somebody and there is a good chance that in this case he can also hear me and that we can communicate. So it's the flexibility, the ad hoc system, if everything else which depends on all these infrastructures, wires, satellites, relays, what have you, if all that has trouble, there is still a chance that on the amateur radio frequencies I have a partner somewhere who in turn can forward my message or can help in some other way to get help to me. Mr. Zimmerman, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to be here today.